Coach, something that I wanted to ask you about was that second period. Uh, Bemidji came back and scored two goals. How did your team respond to that? Well, you know, right before they scored the two, we hit a crossbar that could have put us up 5-1. So all of a sudden, we're looking at 4-3 instead of 5-1. It was a huge change of events, but we've been really working on staying in the moment and continuing to play the right way through the ups and downs. Uh, it was a main focus going into this game tonight. We talked about it all morning, and I was so we were really happy with our team's composure. Uh, it didn't, you know, we didn't we didn't start panicking. We just stuck with the game plan. We kept playing for each other. And, uh, you know, for our, our coaching staff, we're excited about that step we made mentally tonight. And then seven goals tonight. What did you think about their offensive performance? Well, we asked the team to play the right way from start to finish. We felt they did. Uh, we felt that was our first, uh, our best first period in a while, uh, the way we started the third as well. So, um, you know, we kept on the attack. We kept, uh, you know, trying to push the play. And uh, we're really happy with uh, how the guys uh, played tonight. And then two goals from Jimmy and two goals from Kevin. What did you notice about those two specifically? Well, Jimmy was jumping up in the play a lot tonight, which is good. He was kind of finding that hole late, and uh, the guys made a couple nice plays to him. So uh, I thought he played well. Kevin Fitzgerald plays, you know, he plays good every night, to be honest. And he's a guy that doesn't get noticed a lot because he does all the little things right. And uh, it's fun to see him get rewarded. And then Bemidji, they didn't make this an easy series for you guys. No. What can you speak to on their play? Well, I can say, honestly, they're one of the hardest teams to play against in the country. There's no doubt about it. So for us, it was a great test. We we felt like they played better than us last night, to be honest. And we felt like we were able to pick up our game tonight. So uh, the response by our team um, was was really good. Uh, getting back to what you said a little bit about Jimmy Schultz, two more goals tonight. He now has 95 career points. Uh, what can you say about you know, what he means to this team? Well, he means everything to the team. I mean, I think back to this summer when he announced that he was coming back and seeing how excited it made the, the rest of the players and, and what he meant to them and what he means to this program. Um, you can't say enough about him. He leads the right way on and off the ice. And, I mean, he's just a warrior out there. You know, some people just see him on the power play or the big shot or those things, but it's the little moments within the game where you need somebody to win a battle, uh, and he's the guy you want, want doing it. You know, in a tough team like Bemidji State and a goal-scoring fest like this, Pretty good to have a deep offensive team like this, particularly with the opponent on the other side. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's so hard to score against Bemidji. Um, they play such a good defensive game. Uh, tonight, we were able to take advantage of a couple mistakes and and get rolling a little bit, you know. And, and we kind of finally got to that four wave attack that we wanted, or four line attack that we wanted this weekend. Um, and, and I think that that made us better because we had four lines that were playing with a lot of pace and putting a lot of pressure on them when they could. So I, I think it was a good team effort that way. Uh, something else that I noticed when watching too, whenever the Huskies would get one through, it wouldn't take Bemidji long to also respond. What did you tell your guys in those moments where it seemed like they were getting a little more frustrated? Well, what we talked about before the game was if we can go out and play the game the right way, uh, we could at least feel good about ourselves in the process because we didn't feel what we did last night. But what we did talk about is even if we are playing the game the right way, we're playing a really good team and we may not have the lead. You know, even if we're doing the things that we're asking you to do, even if we're um, even if we're executing the right way against a team like this, you might not have the lead. So it was just kind of a good reminder of, hey, we got to just keep sticking with it and we got to keep playing our game. And I I really like the composure on our bench tonight versus last night. You, you know, you mentioned how well Bemidji State played last night. Um, you know, they didn't score last night. You were probably expecting that they were going to come out with uh, some scoring tonight. Right? Absolutely. You know, you yeah. You knew they were going to make a huge push. Uh, they're they're too well coached. They're too good a team. Um, they weren't. You know, we knew for there was no chance this uh, Bemidji State was just going to come in here and lie down Saturday night. We knew we were going to face an even better Bemidji State team. And I'll tell you what, they uh, like I said, they're coached well. Uh, they play the game the right way. They're tough to play against. 11 out of 12 to start the season. Now you got Thanksgiving break to look forward to. It's, it's, good. it's a nice way to go on the break, that's for sure. You come in here all smiles. What may, what went so well this weekend for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think Friday we played, like, came out slow. Didn't really have our best game. Bemidji played pretty good, too. And, um, yeah, I think tonight we bounced back really well and finally put, like, a good first period together since I don't know how long. But, yeah, no, I mean, it was just awesome, awesome team game today. And there were some times there we were rolling, and it was just really fun, so. And speaking on that first period, what do you think clicked for you guys tonight that allowed you to get off to that faster start? I just think we were skating. We were seeing the ice wall. We were stretching out plays. I mean, Bemidji's a team that kind of uh, took away one side. And, like, we're going D to D behind that. They'll all flood to one side, kind of. So, I mean, I thought we did a good job of, like, finding the weak side. Once you find the weak side, it just kind of opens up more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Once it just opens up, uh, like, more room on the ice. And I thought uh, we had our legs tonight in the first period, so that was good. Oh, sorry. And then for a little bit there as well, when you guys would get a couple points on the board, 
it seemed like it wouldn't take long for Bemidji to respond. Yeah. What did you guys say or help keep you guys motivated so you didn't get too down on yourself? Yeah. Moments? No, I mean, definitely. Like you said, down on yourself. Like, I, I, I definitely think that tonight it was it was really cool to see. Like, they scored a goal. We're like, oh, who cares? Like, let's just keep going, you know? And I think last night, like, I think Coach said in his – Post game thing, but like you're kind of down the bench, you know, like uh, like guys kind of frustrated and stuff, which is to be expected. They're a good team, like they play hard. Like, if, I mean, if we can't do what we want, we're gonna be frustrated. But yeah, I thought we did a really good job of like controlling our emotions and uh, like just getting right back to our game. And then I know we talked about this a little bit ago, but Bemidji did not make this an easy series for you guys. But what did you learn about your team working through that frustration? Yeah, no, I mean Bemidji is a very good team. They work so, like super hard, uh, especially in their D zone. There's not really a lot of like room and stuff to skate but yeah when I was talking to Nick and Jack between periods like hey what do you seen out there like I think it was good when we got the puck cycled it and got off our guy you know so we couldn't get pinned to the boards and I thought once we started doing that once we started moving our feet moving the puck and then especially getting to the net like you kind of stay around the perimeter as much but once we got to the net like I thought it really opened up a lot for us. Now obviously you guys pulled away at the end uh, but Midgey they had a response to everything you guys said earlier but you yeah. also you also had a response to that and it was kind of trading yeah. punches so to speak yeah. for the first uh, four minutes or so. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a really fun game. I mean, uh, they they responded really well to, like, everything. And I thought we responded well also. Sorry, Will. Um, but, uh, yeah. No, I thought um, I thought definitely, like, it, it was just back and forth like that. And, I mean, give credit to them. They're a really good team. They work so hard. So, yeah, really fun game. Um, pretty gritty team, too. Not a lot of – they don't get a lot of respect. Kind of yeah. the backseat compared to the other Minnesota teams and what they've accomplished. But, you know, they're, they're always a tough out. They – yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, they're super hardworking, but, uh, yeah, we're pretty gritty, too, I'd say. I mean, we got some huge high skill guys, Ryan, Robbie, you know, Walker, Blake, all our guys. But we got some grit to us, too, I would say. I think uh, we like like uh, me, Jack, and Nick. I was telling Jack, he flipped a puck in for me from the uh, center ice, and I was going on law, came back to the bench, I was like, oh, you know I love that play. Like, <laughs> nice little flip into the corner. But, yeah, no, so. How do you think you were able to respond after Bemidji scored twice to pull within one? You guys were up four to one. You chased Driscoll, and then they suddenly come back, and uh, it's only a four-three game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, give credit to them. They battled all night, and I thought, like I said earlier, like we had a good job controlling our emotions, just you know, taking it one step at a time, one shift at a time. So yeah, I thought we uh, we battled well throughout the game. Now, can't speak highly enough about the depth of your offense. I mean, uh, goaltending uh, wasn't uh, at the, its greatest tonight, so. Um, you know, obviously, offense had to prevail, and you guys have, you know, one of the deepest teams. So. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It's, uh, you said like goaltending. I, I don't think it's just our, our goaltender. I, I think it's a lot of uh, just kind of. I mean, it's you know, there's there's five six guys, including the goalie. There's one uh, their goal, uh, their last goal. I think like my fault, missed a guy in the D zone. But like you said, goaltending. Like so, you guys like everyone will think it's him, but it, it's definitely a team game. I would say. But yeah, I mean, uh, I thought uh, when we were moving our feet, playing their zone. I thought we played well. Is going to have a pretty enjoyable Thanksgiving break, 11 out of 12 to start the year in the win column. Yeah, definitely. Eat some turkey. <laughs> Watch the Bears uh, tomorrow beat up on the Vikings, so should be good. Big Bears fan? Yeah, definitely. Huge Bears fan. So, um, Taking okay. things kind of backwards a little bit, I had one last question for you. I'm probably wrong on this statistic, but I think it was only one power play goal that was given up for Bemidji this entire weekend. Um, speak to the strength of your penalty kill. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought our penalty kill was good. Um, we made some – I mean, they kind of moved some guys around. We made some adjustments too. And uh, kind of like I said last week, like penalty kill is just like hard work, you know, like making sure we're playing in our systems. And I thought – I mean, Nick and Jack Kaling are just such a force on our penalty kill. It's it's unbelievable to see. So, yeah, I thought we did well. Awesome. Was there anything that you think you guys need to improve on before you guys uh, hit the road to face Miami in a couple of weeks? Yeah, just putting that six-minute game together, I would say.